This is Bond 9640 week 3 shoot question 2. Uh, this up amp circuit is uh, an adder or weighted adder. It takes a weighted sum of the input voltages and transfers it to the output. So uh, we have two input voltages V1 which is the difference between this pin and the ground and then we have V2 which is the difference between this pin and the ground. And there's some output voltage which is related to those on this side. Uh, this is not a frequency dependent circuit, there are no inductors or capacitors so there's not going to be any J omega stuff so don't panic, no phasers involved here. Um, let's label some of the voltages of interest, so let's call this one uh, V1, uh, uh, VR1 let's say, plus minus, and this one VR2 plus minus, arbitrarily chosen the direction, um, and let's call this one VF um, again, plus minus like this. Um, actually, just for to make it tricky, let's change it around because I want you to see this on the other way. Let's go minus plus to show it, show you how it works. Um, some unknowns that we want to write down. So we'll have a current going this way called I one, and we should have a current going this way uh, I two. Well, we don't know which way the current is going, but we'll draw it some way and then figure it out. Because this is an op amp, the, the current going in here is zero. So all of the current should flow up through this arm, so that means I1 and I2 entering here, and it has to leave this way. So we have I1 plus I2 flowing through this feedback path. Okay, so we're ready to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. I'm going to answer this question in a slightly different way than what was uh, done in the uh, written solution which was handed out. I'm going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go around and switch to green. We're going to go around this loop here with uh, VR1. So we'll start uh, start at ground. We're going to go up this direction. We're going to go through this resistor, down here, jump across this gap and then come right back around. And let's do that. So we will have uh, as we come up here, we'll hit the minus sign first, so it's minus V1 plus VR2. Uh, the difference between these two terminals is, is almost zero because of the op-amp rule that the gain is really, really large. Uh, no matter what the output voltage is, the difference between the terminals is almost zero, so we call it a virtual ground. So the difference here, let's call it um, uh, VD plus minus uh, VD is roughly equal to zero. Let's write down the expression, the Kirchhoff's voltage law, and it's going to be minus V1 plus VR1 uh, plus 0, which is the VD, equals 0. So V1 is equal to VR1, and using Ohm's law, that's the same as I1 times R1, which is I1 times, it's 10 kilo ohms, so it's 10 by 10 to the power of 3. Uh, similarly, there's another loop which goes this way, so we'll start at ground as, again, we'll go minus V2 plus VR, VR2 uh, plus VD, and then back around to zero. So let's write that out, so it's going to be minus V2 because we hit the minus sign first, plus VR2 plus VD, which is zero, equals zero. So again, gives V2 this time. V2 is equal to VR2, which is equal to I2 times R2, which is equal to I2 times 5 kilo ohms, so 5 by 10 to the power of 3. Alright, that's the input side. Then we can do the output, so let's switch to uh, grey. We're going to go start down at ground and we'll go minus V out plus VF plus VD equals zero. So let's write that down. We will have minus V out because we hit the minus first and plus VF plus VD which is equal to zero itself equal to zero. So we'll have um, V out is equal to VF. And what is VF? Now this is why I changed the direction. I want you to see this. The current comes in 
this way from the left and it hits the negative sign the way I've drawn the current I don't actually know which way it's going it doesn't matter I've drawn it going left to right it comes in and hits the negative sign of VF so I'm going to write minus this is Ohm's law I1 plus I2 times the resistance which is 20 by 10 to the power of 3 so that's a lot of people make mistakes with this minus sign. If the current comes in and hits the negative sign side of the voltage, then it becomes negative. And I can actually substitute in for I1 and I2 from the previous equations, and I end up with V out is equal to, actually let's move down to the bottom, we might need more space. V out is equal to minus, uh, it's going to be V1 over 10 to the power of 4 plus V2 over 5 by 10 to the power of 3 all by 20 by 10 to the power of 3 so I get minus uh, 2 V1 minus 4 V2 and that's it